Aghata was once one of the greatest cities of the ancient world, but it didn't take long to fall under the onslaught of the Dark Lord. The lichens were innumerable, and the city was razed to the ground. The necromantic wars, as they were known, destroyed the advanced technologies that the Agartians had closely guarded. Eventually the titans fell, and then the people were massacred one by one, or were turned into beasts subservient to their new conqueror. None now remain to tell the tale. Wait!
Wait! Who is this strange girl? Surely she could not have survived alone in this hellhole? Gabriel follows her deep into the depths of the city. I wonder where she is leading him. It is strange. I hear no words, and yet it seems Gabriel is communicating with her in some way. Something tells me she has a part to play in all of this.
Did you see the power that resides within those crystals? The crystals can be really useful in combat. You can find crystal shards scattered all over the place. I often go in search of them. How can I hear your voice? I'm not moving my lips. I have the gift. I can also read minds. Who are you? My name is Claudia, and he is my protector. He looks after me. In return, I catch evil souls so that he can absorb their energy. Without it, he will stop working. But there's something different about you. Well, you seem good somehow, so we won't kill you. I'm relieved to hear it. It's okay. Let me read your thoughts. No! What is it? What's wrong? You are here to kill the Lords of Shadow and take their power. You mean to save us all and bring the one you love back. I am not afraid. We are coming with you. You won't make it on your own. No, Claudia. I must do this alone. I know the way. You don't. You need me. You need him. <laughs> Very well. Fate has played its hand, and now the die is set. I knew this child would play her part somehow, and it seems Gabriel has real help at last. It bodes well for our quest. The golem that protects the girl has something that could prove very useful in the end, something unforeseen. My dear friend, I see your destiny before me, and it is terrible indeed. And yet I have trust that all will be as I have hoped. Thousands of years this city overflowed with life. It was a sanctuary of magic, wisdom, and harmony. These people were the ones that created the crystals which you've already seen. They didn't need armies for protection. Their powers were enough to thwart any threat. That 
that is, until the lichens came. Then the balance changed. Trolls, goblins, gremlins, creatures of nightmare besieged the city endlessly, day and night. Most fled. Others used their remaining powers to create huge titans to fight against the invaders. The battle lasted centuries until there was no stone left standing. No one left. Those that did not die in battle were captured and devoured. My father was one of the last. He hid me. He created the Black Knight to be my protector. We have been running ever since. The Titans outlived their creators and stayed here fighting against an enemy that outnumbered them until even they were defeated. All except one. Behind those doors awaits the last of those Titans. The only way to reach the Sanctuary of the Dark Lord is through that door. We will have to defeat the Titan if we wish to continue our journey. The door will only open with the power of a crystal. You need to find four shards to create a whole crystal. We will wait for you here while you look for them. Go in search of the areas where the crystal shards grow. We will wait for you here. Four shards to create one whole crystal. We don't have time to lose, Gabriel. Find the areas where crystal shards grow.
You found a crystal shard. We need three more now. Remember, we still need three more crystal shards. Remember, we still need three more crystal shards. Remember, we still need three more crystal shards.
We still need three more crystal shards. Remember, we still need three more crystal shards. Charles.
Remember, we still need three more crystal shards.
There is only one shark. You just, you just need, need one more, more to create, create one whole, whole crystal. crystal. Great! Great. Now, come now come back, back here. here. Do, not Do not waste, waste the crystal, crystal or you'll have, have to find, find another, another one. one. Behind that big door, the Titan awaits you. These statues seem to be here for a reason. I think these statues can move somehow. The three companions enter the chamber of the Titans. What awaits them there is all that remains of the great technology of the Aghartians. This battle will test them all, and there is no going back now. The board is set, the pieces in play, and we shall see what occurs and who will emerge the victor. The child and her golem will help, and I hope once the battle is won that Gabriel will have the courage to do what is necessary. Necessary for our quest to succeed, for there is still the matter of the Lords of Shadow, and their power is even more formidable.
Don't get too close to the Titan.
too dangerous. Move away. Titans, Titans are no more. She was, she the, was last the last, of her, last of her kind. Shall we go on? We should, we should rest. rest. Night, Night is, coming. is coming. I know a place.
a great victory. Gabriel has won the trust of the girl, and together they wield a fearsome power. She is so young, so beautiful. Life is so fragile here on the edge of humanity. And yet in this unforgiving place she has managed to survive with the help of her Black Knight protector. Sleep will come and take them soon. Tired and exhausted, they rest but this night. Fate once again comes calling, and I fear my friend will never be the same again. First time I touched your face, I have seen my fate. I am ready. Do not let the darkness possess you, Gabriel. You must remove the gauntlet from the night. It is a key. And the moment will come when you will be in great need of it. No. I will have to continue without it. I will not harm her. I am afraid it is far too late for that.
dreams are a gateway to the mind, and now Gabriel has paid a terrible price for succumbing to his weariness. The many sleepless nights since his love was taken from him, the fear of falling into sleep, the nightmares that haunt him have all played their part. Did he murder this poor girl, or is there some other explanation? Doubt gnaws at him now, eating his very soul. The golem protected this child for centuries, loved her dearly, and there was no way he would have let Gabriel live, yet alone give up the gauntlet. Few men could continue. Most would abandon the quest, but something deep inside forces him ever onwards. A dark force has taken hold, and all creatures of the night will come to fear him now.
Gabriel has fought long and hard to get to this point, and now he faces his stiffest challenge. The Dark Lord of the Lycans must be defeated if Gabriel stands any chance of bringing his beloved back. I fear he will suffer more than he knows once he discovers the truth, and yet his hatred and burning desire for revenge cannot be underestimated. He has the gauntlet, and he has Gandolfi's weapon. He is a force that even the Dark Lord will struggle to deal with. Good. Soon he will overcome this evil. Soon the world will be free of the Lords of Shadow, and plans long dreamt of will come to fruition. Go, my friend, go and break this creature once and for all. Come to fulfill the prophecy. My acolytes were not lying. A warrior from the Brotherhood, here on Lycan soil. I wonder, warrior, if you know where you are and who I am. I am on desecrated land, and you and those of your clan do not deserve to live. <laughs> you say you are here to fulfill a prophecy. You and the other Lords of Shadow are protecting a power in your sanctuaries. I have come to reclaim that power. You? Alone? You dare enter my inner sanctum and dictate your petty mortal terms to me? I am immortal, little man! And your pathetic prophecy is known to me. But you are ignorant. Ignorant of the real truth of your situation. It is you who are ignorant. Ignorant of the pain and suffering you have brought to this land. Hear me. Many centuries ago, three great warriors founded the Brotherhood of Light, the order to which you belong. Their sole purpose was to serve God and defeat the Devil. For decades, the Founders fought fiercely against the spawns of Satan, and finally tipped the equilibrium in God's favor. Such was their commitment to the Crusade, that their studies in Holy Enlightenment led them to three sacred places, where the power of God converged with such intensity that it forged a bridge between the spiritual and the real. The Founders used that power to purify themselves, abandoning their human forms and transforming them into spiritual beings whose power was second only to God's. You tell me nothing that I did not already know, beast. Little did they realize that what they left behind were not their carcasses devoid of souls, but instead the dark sides of themselves. Don't you see? That is how we came to be. We, who you call the Lords of Shadow. No. You lie. This place is where one of your founders ascended into heaven, and where I was born. This is the place where, according to your prophecy, a warrior of light will reclaim the power of my beloved brother in heaven, and I too will diminish. If that were to occur, he would die with me. Because we are still the same being. He and I, still connected. 
kill me, and you kill him. Kill us all, and you will kill the sentry founders of your own order. Ah, <laughs> brother. Even you have to smile at the irony of it all. Perhaps he is willing to sacrifice himself for you. For the greater good. I, however, am not. I am Cornell. Lord of the Lycan. Your skills are no match for mine! Is this the best the Brotherhood can
Make haste, my love. Reclaim the power before it is lost. Oblivion. Sempiternal. Daemonis. It is not enough. You must unite the two that remain. Come with me. 
Our time is running out.